former President Trump back on the campaign trail, not far from Manhattan, from the Manhattan courtroom, where he has spent the last six weeks on trial. Trump is holding a rally in South Bronx, his first rally in the state he was born in since 2016. This latest move is an effort to appeal to black and Latino voters in one of New York City's most diverse neighborhoods. NBC News correspondent Dasha Burns is at that rally and joins us now. So, Dasha, walk us through with, uh, we understand he is speaking behind you, so it's going to be a little bit noisy, but walk us through what you were hearing tonight and explain to us what this push is by the Trump campaign to court both black and Latino voters. We know in recent polls, the Biden administration has struggled a bit to gain momentum with voters in those key demographics. What are Biden's biggest challenges and how is Trump trying to take advantage of those? You're so beautiful. Well, look, Ellison, it's been so fascinating to work the crowd here today and to talk to these voters because I'm hearing the same things that I've been hearing from so many folks I've been talking to across the country. Just real dissatisfaction with the state of affairs, frustration about the economy, the high price at the grocery store, the high price at the gas pump. A lot of frustration here, actually, with immigration. Even immigrants to this country themselves who came here legally are frustrated by what they're seeing at the border right now. Uh, and a lot of just interest in what you Trump is bringing here. I got to tell you, I talked to voters who are born and raised in the Bronx, up. black voters, Hispanic voters, There's Jewish voters, who are all here curious about what Trump has to say. Several people I talked to, this is their first ever Trump event. Take a listen to some of what I heard. Have you voted for Trump in past elections? No, I voted for Biden, but I regret it. He resembles uh, right my now. personal Donald point of view. Uh, New York on the he's a Christian. Myself, I am I'm a Christian, to too. Trump so I think he's the closest right. to my uh, point of view. Biden went on the Charlemagne the God show and said, you ain't black if you don't vote for him. Understand something. I don't have to prove my blackness or my Afro-Americanism. Like you never got bitten before. And look, Ellison, New York is a blue state, right? But if uh, the campaign is trying to point to, if he can do this here in the Bronx, imagine what uh, that means for voters in Philly, in Detroit, in Atlanta, in those key battleground states. That is a concern for the Biden campaign, Allison. Yeah, big, big crowd behind you there, Dasha. I know we also have some new reporting on conversations within the GOP regarding the party's stances on pretty big social issues, things like abortion as well as same-sex marriage. What do we know? There. Right, so this is the concern for the Trump campaign and for Republicans in terms of co courting some of these new voters, these new demographics, right? Every four years, the GOP at their convention presents a new party platform. It coincides with the presidential election. It co can, uh, is, comes out of a platform committee. And the, the Trump team and the RNC wants to make sure that the people on that committee are not too far right. They're not too extreme especially on issues like same-sex marriage and like abortion, which, Ellison, we've talked about multiple times, particularly the abortion issue, is, is one that has been a tough spot, a pain point for uh, Republicans and something that Democrats are trying to take advantage of to rally voters to their side of the aisle. Ellison? NBC's Dasha Burns in the Bronx. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.